The market maintains a relatively good strength to it in the fact that in the morning they sell it off and then bring it back up by the end of the day, implying that the profit taking occurs in the morning and the buyers come back in the afternoon. On top of that, you're not seeing any great exuberance coming from the talking heads on Wall Street. So more than likely, with stochastics up here in the overbought area, probably want to see uh, what happens once they get to the 200-day moving average. And knowing that the uh, market's in an uptrend, candlestick analysis provides a great benefit, and it allows investors to know which sectors are acting the strongest. We can see what's happening in the gold chart. There was a big fry pan bottom, made some very nice move uh, here, and then there was profit taking. And notice where the profit taking came back to. Back to the T-line, doing a J-hook pattern. Today's trading opened lower, but uh, closed higher, even though it was down on the day. You could tell that the uh, buyers were still there, making the implication that wave one and wave three should be about the same, based upon what usually happens out of a classic pattern. This still allows our uh, gold stocks to be acting very well. You can see the same type of pattern that occurred in AU. Big fry pan bottom breakout. They broke through the 200, used it as support. They have a J-hook pattern. We're still in an uptrend as long as we stay above the T-line. And the same scenario with CDE that we recommended. There's your scoop pattern. Very definable that you have a flat handle, then the scoop, and then the slingshot effect. And how big is the uptrend? Well, we can analyze everything in an uptrend that we would normally analyze where they come through a resistance level, come back, test it as support, see that it traded indecisively, head for our next target. Next target they go through, consolidate, do a J-hook pattern. We're in the wave three of the uh, uh, J-hook pattern. So it puts us in situations where not only is the uptrend going to be strong or the uptrend in the markets are, are going to be good, but we can pick out which stocks are going to have the strongest moves during that uptrend. That same analysis could be seen in the double bottom on crude oil. Little kicker type signal to the upside, bringing crude oil back up through the 50. Still more upside potential. So we want to stay long crude oil, which has provided some very strong buys in the uh, crude oil stocks. We broke or bought Whitey when it broke out based upon kind of a flutter kicker reversal. And over the past four trading days, it's basically been up approximately 100 percent. So candlestick analysis just allows the investors to identify where there's been a strong reversal and get yourself put into positions where the upside potential is not only in a positive direction, but in a very strong positive direction. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.